guys what up welcome back to my youtube channel and today tutorial i'm just going to share with you guys how i round trip uh vegas pro with davinci resolve so i do all of my edits here in vegas and when it comes to color i will use davinci resolve now in order to round trip with this between these two programs you would use an xml file and for those who don't know what is xml xml is sort of a universal language between each editing program out there like Final Cut, Premiere, Vegas, DaVinci, HitFilm, you name it. Uh, so each program out there can read another program uh, timeline uh, by using XML. But the only downside about XML, it doesn't transfer any effect that you have applied uh, on your video as well on your audio. So for example, uh, I have a color grade apply in Vegas here um, for this particular clip. That graded clip uh, effects will not read by Premiere Pro, for example. All right. So um, we just transferring the cuts and use footage in the timeline to another program. So um, that's how you link between programs. But there is a problem and the problem I'm facing right now, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys facing the same problem as me, is that DaVinci Resolve won't read uh, Vegas Pro XML. So the problem is basically that when I import the timeline uh, from Vegas XML into Resolve, it will load up with an error saying the clip is missing, even though you have relocated the clip uh, path location all that kind of stuff it just prompt me with an error saying the clip is missing and if you ignore it and just continue proceeding importing the XML um, it will load up the cuts that you have made in Vegas to DaVinci but the media uh, the clip basically uh, show up as a media offline this is very annoying and um, I tried to look for an answer or a sort of a solution on how to properly import Vegas uh, timeline to resolve, but I just couldn't find any. So I came up with this uh, one solution. Oh, I, I basically found this way on how I can bring my cuts from Vegas to resolve is that you will need another program, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. Yes. So basically what we are doing now is transcoding Vegas XML via Premiere Pro and from Premiere we exporting uh, XML from there and bring it to DaVinci Resolve. So that kind of workflow uh, you will need to do in order to bring the cuts from Vegas to DaVinci Resolve. It's not the best but it, it, it makes the job done. Alright, so to demonstrate you guys the way I did. Uh, I have the uh, sample project here and uh, I have a simple edits which involves some keyframing on this first clip which is I do some keyframe and zoom into the clip and then I have this effect applied which is the invert effects as well um, composite on the top layer and some basic transition like this okay so uh, like I said earlier, XML doesn't read all of this kind of fancy stuff that you made uh, in your edits. So what I'm going to do now is to save it as a new project file. So this is our current project file and just give it a name as Vegas 2DR. So we are dealing with a new project so you won't interrupt or destructing your actual uh, master project. So in this new project file, uh, what you're going to do is to get rid of things that XML won't read. So I'm just going to get rid of this black bar. I'm going to get rid of these effects. And um, I also going to get rid of this key framing that I've made on this clip. And uh, XML does read a crossfade clip. Uh, but if you're really scared about it, you can just offset the clip like so. For the audio, I'm not going to delete it. Uh, and I think since we're just gonna grid the footage, might as well just delete the audio, right? And once you're done, delete everything. So you just have the bare cuts uh, in Vegas timeline. Press save, and we can now start exporting the XML. So go to export, 
Impress, Final Cut Pro 10. Oh, sorry, uh, DaVinci Resolve XML. Click that. You can include the media as well as ex ex exclude any unused media and timeline, but we're not going to do that. Save it to a, a, a to a custom folder and press uh, export. Once it's done, you can launch Premiere Pro and in Premiere, you're just going to basically import the Vegas XML to uh, Premiere. So you're just going to press import and click uh, this export XML and Premiere should import the um, files. So you, you want to look for a file called sequence one, double click on it and you can see all of the cuts that we made in Vegas load up in Premiere just fine. So then from here, go to file again and let's export the XML. Click on Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, just save it just uh, beside our exported Vegas XML. I'm just gonna even name PR Premiere so we won't get confused. Press save. So now in Resolve, we're gonna import the, X, uh, the XML from Premiere. So go to File, Import, Timeline, and just select the exported XML from Premiere. Press OK, and it should load up just fine. So here's the clip. Uh, the cuts that we have made in Vegas uh, load up just fine here in DaVinci Resolve. So you can start doing your color grade in Resolve. All right, so let's say once you're done coloring your video clip in DaVinci Resolve, we can go to the Delivery tab. Right, so on these uh, render settings, um, you want to basically render this each individual clip. So you're going to select individual clips. And um, since we're just going to dealing with the video, make sure you go to audio and disable export audio. And we're going to go to the file and use the source file name, right? And you can choose your codec, uh, whatever codec you want to use. And we're gonna save this uh, graded clip or exported clip just right beside our Vegas project file. So I'm just gonna find it real quick and give it a folder. Select folder and uh, once everything's load up, you can press add to render queue and press render all. So DaVinci will start batch rendering each of this clip based on the cuts that we have made uh, from Vegas. All right, so all of our exported clip from Resolve is uh, exported. Uh, we can go back our to our master project file in Vegas, and instead of replacing each of this clip with the new grid footage, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a new video track, give it a name, grid, and just re-import our clip, graded clip into Vegas timeline and it should load up just fine. All right, so let's just put it where it's supposed to be. And what you can do now is just copy and paste event attributes. So all of the keyframes that we have made will be transferred to our graded clip. Same goes to this one, copy, paste attributes, and we are pretty much done. So that's how I round trip Vegas and DaVinci Resolve um, for my workflow. So it's not the best one because you will require Premiere Pro in order to import the timeline to Resolve. But again, it does make the job done and I've been using it uh, just fine for my recent projects. All right, so hope you guys like it. And if you have any question, uh related you can leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you guys and see you guys next time bye bye